Hey everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> well, here I am in my car on my way to get my hair done. And I sound worse than I feel today. I am feeling a little bit better today. So, whew, thank goodness. But, like I said, I'm, I'm on my way to my hair appointment. But first, I'm going to stop by Hobby Lobby. Because, you know, guys, I have not been anywhere the last two days. Other than walking around my house doing a home tour for you guys. Which is wonderful, you know. And we, we were able to get that home door uh, complete and up. And ready to be watched. Even though my kind of scratchy voice is... <laughs> behind the scenes there but that's okay it's me I am who I am every day you guys have you know I've, I've, I've watched me live in my life here for sure so of course I didn't do anything to my hair today I just kind of put a comb through it and because uh, what's the point in washing it and curling it and doing all that when you're going to get your hair done right so I'm gonna get it colored and trimmed up a little bit today and I'm really looking forward to that. So, because it needs it. It gets, you know, back down to the, for those of you who get your hair colored, you know, when you get to be about the, to the, about the last week. And uh, I needed to cancel the appointment on Monday because I was so sick. And uh, anyway, so I'm on my way to Hobby Lobby, but I'm coming to you today. Chris and I were, were sitting there talking a little bit, and as I've told you guys many times, he doesn't want to get in front of the camera, but he's always beside me, and always he reads all your comments, and he uh, helps keep me calm and on track sometimes, you know, and uh, of course he has a lot to do with the, you know, the way the house works you know more the mechanics of everything than the decorating of course but he does give his opinion on things too you know so for instance he was a big part of the the black wrought iron edition he he really likes that look and he thought that it would look nice I'm sorry I am just burning up here it is so hot here goodness gracious it's 89 degrees and I bet you it's hotter. It was cooler in the garage. I bet you it's even hotter than that. I think it's supposed to go to 99 today with the heat index of 150 probably. I don't know. I kind of tweaked my air conditioner. Hopefully you're not hearing that too much. But man, I was... Whew, it's warm. Anyway, we were, as I said, Chris and I were, were talking this morning. And he said, I think you should take, when you start to go to do your fall decorations, uh, you should take your folks through the whole process and and show them what you do from beginning to end <laughs> meaning uh, he said we well, could take a tripod downstairs and set up the camera and point it toward all of our shelving that we have downstairs and then he wants me to take like uh, dots or take a sharpie or something and put a mark on all of the bins that I need him for him to bring up. Of course, I don't carry bins, and I can't carry card to carry myself up the steps with these stupid knees of mine. But bless his heart, he's he's a workhorse, and he carries up all my bins for me. And then he said, "Then we'll show them where you, you where you stage everything." <laughs> he was so funny. He was so cute doing this. And I said, "Yeah, right there on the foyer rug." <laughs> that big cream rug that sits in the foyer that's where he sits all the bins and then I kind of separate them and start going through them and as and I'll tell you guys as as hard as I work at putting my stuff away invariably when I go to get it back out again <laughs> I'm like all confused and I'm like oh my gracious what did I do with this where did I put this how did I decorate with this you know and uh, gracious me so I, you know, it takes me a long time to get all of my fall decor up. He also brings me up some empty bins, a couple empty bins, because I actually pack away 
for instance, the pip berries that are hanging on the, the mantle, I pack that away until after Christmas because I have a, a special uh, fall swag that goes on there for the fall months and then I have a Christmas, really pretty Christmas swag. Got both from Grandin Road. Oh my gracious, check out Grandin Road for their uh, for their fall and their Christmas stuff. Uh, their greenery especially and, and, and fall foliage, beautiful stuff. It is a little pricey, but I had a coupon for both times and I bought the, the, the fall swag and the Christmas swag. But anyway, uh, he brings me up a couple of bins, empty bins, so that I have some place to put all of my, as Jeanette says, cozy country decor <laughs> instead of generic decor. Uh, all of my cozy country decor down and put it away in my bins because I really do redecorate pretty much every space for those two times. Like I've been doing this, you know, from January till up till I go to do fall, I pretty much, in January, I put all of my country cozy decor out. I got used to saying that. Uh, decor out and <clears throat> then I just augment. I just add to that decor. Very rarely do I, you know, I might take like the pillows out of that one cozy corner beside my credenza and replace them with other pillows. But other than that, I, I pretty much just add to the existing decor. And uh, so I need to get take down some of my regular decor so that I can put up the fall and then the Christmas. And through the years, I always, there's a method to my madness, you guys. I always have in mind, okay, I want to replace this that goes on the left side of the hearth, for instance, and I have this here for fall, so I need something there to take up that space to make up that country corner, you know, that cozy corner, you know, that kind of thing. I uh, have thought about that going through the years, so I, you know, I've been honing the decor in this, in this house since we moved in. So, uh, and I'm still working on it. I still, you know, I'm sure I will be tweaking it and doing a couple of different things. Who knows what I'll, I, who knows what I'll get myself into. But anyway, to, you know, Chris said that, you know, he thought that you guys would appreciate <laughs> me, you know, showing you the whole process, the bones of the, you know, the basement and, you know, the, the not so pretty part of, you know, the decorating. He said, he told me, he said, you work so hard and, and, I really do. I labor for, for several days on that. And to the point where after Christmas last year, I said, I'm not decorating for fall next year. My gracious, I can't take it. It's so much, you know, and I love to decorate, you know, but shoo, it is a lot. And, you know, for me to say that, you know, I had to have been pretty burned out and tired, <laughs> but I love it. I love every second of it. So so that's what I think we'll do. Uh, I might even do the, you know, go down and put the dots on the fall bins downstairs, uh, you know, and just maybe take a peek in them and let y'all see, you know, I'm not going to unpack them or anything down there, but just, you know, we'll maybe put some dots on some things and, you know, get that a little bit organized down there. I'm not going to start decorating for a while yet for fall even though I love to do it. I may make a fall wreath. I kind of need something for my, of course I need it. Oh yeah. Like I need a hole in the head. I need another wreath. Like I need a hole in the head. But I would like one for either my family room door where I just put that Florida Lee wreath or uh, on my garage or going out into the garage. I'd like something for there. So I may make one for the season. Uh, but I'm not sure when I'll do that because it's hard to gather materials when nothing is on sale yet. The fall stuff is all out in the stores, but nothing is on sale. Kim, uh, you had mentioned yesterday that your Hobby Lobby, you know, doesn't have their fall stuff on sale. Neither does mine. Mine doesn't either. Well, we'll see today. I'm going to go in here and take a look. 
but I, mm, as far as I know, last week it did not have it on sale yet. So that's frustrating, you know, when I'm in, and you know, we have all these crafters out here and uh, someone even said on my one comment, she said, well, you know why they have all that stuff out there is because everybody has craft shows and things that they're going to. And I'm like, yeah, well, it would sure be nice if they put it on sale. If they went ahead and put it on sale so that we crafters out here or those of us who go to make some money so i'm changing lanes here could you know could get their supplies without having to you know give an arm and a leg to do it so regardless i, I am one that doesn't like to buy things full price like that so not sure how i'll pull that off until you know until that stuff goes on sale but again, I'm going to kind of be in a lull now between, because when I just got done that decorating, what I just got, you know, putting everything back to kind of my cozy country decor. <laughs> um, and fall, I'm not sure what I'm going to get myself into. I'm sure I'll do something. Even if it's just car chats and coming to visit with y'all that way. You know. But there will be no more crafting this week, that's for sure. I'm going to you know, I said I probably would take the rest of the week off. Here I am chatting with you. But Chris and I came up with this idea uh, to show you the whole process. So I just had to tell y'all. I had to come and tell y'all about it. So. And, of course, if I buy anything from uh, Hobby Lobby, I will haul it later when I get home. But we are having tacos for dinner. We have been eating very light the last couple of days. I've just not... Who has an appetite, you know, when you feel like this and you can't taste your food? Not a great way to lose weight, but shoo. So, since he's, Chris is really feeling a lot better. He's feeling better than I am, to be honest. He was bebopping all over the place. He's been out to Home Depot and then back home, and I don't know. He was, I don't know what always got to, uh, on the in the queue to do today. <laughs> but he's busy. So, but he said, how about if we have tacos for dinner? And I'm like, oh, that's one of my favorite. I'm not really into real hot, hot, spicy, hot food. But, man, I love me some tacos on a nice soft burrito shell. No, I don't like, like, reed fried beans and all that stuff. But just give me some nice taco meat, a little tomato, a little lettuce, a little salsa, like mild salsa, and some ranch dressing. Oh, honey, I'll be in heaven. And I don't feel guilty about eating that tonight since I've, I've barely had much to eat the last couple of days. So, I have me some tacos. <laughs> Traffic is terrible out here. What in the world? I was hoping I could get into Hobby Lobby. My appointment's at 1 and it's 12.20. I'm not even at Hobby Lobby yet. Oh. Well, I'll at least get in there, be able to get in there and look around a little bit and see what is what. They are building, we had a Kmart close here in this shopping center right here. And they are replacing it with an at home. Kim at uh, Sweet Daisy Creations goes to at home all the time. I don't know whether you can see it. So that big white building there, that's going to be the at home. And it says it's coming this fall. I can't wait. Yay. Another, and Chris is like, oh, yes. That's just what we need. We need another place for you to go and buy your stuff. And I was like, leave me alone. But of course, you know, I always need another place to look <laughs> for home decor and crafts and all kinds of goodness like that. And you know who enjoys my decorating as much as I enjoy doing it is Chris. He always says when I'm like, when I'm going through, you know, a change out, and let's say I cleaned off the mantle and the hearth or something and I need to leave it for the night because I can't get back to, you know, getting it decorated that day, that same day that I take it apart. He's like, he sits there and he's watching TV and he says, looks naked in here. It looks dead. He, my goodness. You know, <laughs> like, he's so sweet. He's so supportive and so sweet with me. So... What well, anyway, I'm fixing to get here to Hobby Lobby, so <clears throat> I will hush up for now, and if I buy anything, I'll come back and uh, 
do a haul when I get home and after I get my hair done. Hey y'all, <laughs> I'm back here at my house now after I got my hair done. See all my gray is like magically gone. I love it. I love the way my hair feels after it's been colored and conditioned. It's so nice. <laughs> So, I'm losing my voice. I feel better, but I'm losing my voice a little bit. So, please bear with me as we go through what I got from Hobby Lobby. Every single thing I bought was on sale, except for one thing, and I used my 40% off coupon for that. So, let's see, where to start? I'm going to start here. I needed to get myself some more burlap, and this is the, the length that I use to make my wreaths with and this is 18 inches by 15 feet and all of their ribbon and burlap and everything was is 50% off this week at Hobby Lobby so I got myself two skeins of this because I know with fall coming up that I'll probably need some of this and uh, so I wanted to stock up a little bit I don't have a lot left I've not been I haven't purchased any of this for quite a long time so two skeins of that and then I bought four bolts of ribbon because again they're 50% off this week so I got me some of this white and burlap chevron and I got white and burlap polka dots and red and burlap polka dots and then I got some of this plain, it's almost like that cream burlap that I have. It's like a creamy, burlapy texture, and then it's got the gold little beads on it. I've used this in a couple of my funky bows as of late, and I ran out of it, and I really, really like it. I tend to go to this because it's a neutral, and I really like to put a neutral ribbon in with, you know, let's say I wanted to make, for instance, this. As a funky bow you know I like having one that's a little bit thinner that's only an inch and a half uh, inch wide with two and a half inch other ribbon and then two different textures you know you could even put a different color in with that you know but so I really like to have this as a neutral so that's all my ribbon four little bolts of ribbon and one more bolt of ribbon and I got this from the fall section which is not on sale like I said it, as I said in the car I wasn't sure for sure for sure it wasn't on sale but I walked in and it's like it's not on sale I even asked the cashier I said when are they putting that stuff on sale and she says I don't know they won't tell me I want to know too so but I did go over there and pick up some uh, some ribbon and used my 40% off coupon for that I just thought that was so pretty and I my fall bows are done up in a plaid and this talk about a funky bow would be so pretty if I had like some orange maybe and that plaid and then a neutral or something like that that would really make a pretty funky bow for like on top of a lantern or something I've got my fall decorating in my head here as I shop. So that was all the ribbon. That was all the ribbon, the burlap, and the and the five skeins of five rolls of ribbon. So then I got I picked up. Now you're probably gonna laugh at me, but I thought this was the cutest thing. I went down the spring aisle, and everything on the spring aisle this week is 66% off. And I was like, ooh, that's pretty good, you know. So I picked me up one of these. Now that probably does not look very country and it looks a little strange, but how cute is that? And guess where I'll put that? Duh. Up in the purple bedroom. So it was $15.99, 66% 16, off. But I just thought that was pretty to put up on a shelf and, you know, to build something else around it. I thought it was pretty. Caught my eye. Then I picked up this sweet little birdhouse. And it was $17.99 and 66% off because it's also from the spring shop. So isn't that cute little cross on it, a little steeple. I have in mind to use this out at the mailbox, 
you know, I thought this would be pretty out on the mailbox. So, or on a wreath, who knows what I'll do with it. But I don't have anything anywhere specific in mind to put it right now, but I did think I would probably use it in the mailbox trough, you know, in the back of the mailbox. So, got that. And then two more things. Well, then I picked up some stuff from my hair place. I'll show you that too. But two more things. One thing, and this came out of the spring shop as well, is a silver gazing ball. I have a red one and a gold one and a metallic kind of gold one that's kind of iridescent that kind of looks purple and gold. But I wanted a silver one, I remember last January, when I put up my winter flags outside with the light blues and the snow and all that, I thought this would be really pretty in January to kind of brighten up the, you know, the front fire, or front fireplace, the front flower bed. So I got me, it was $50, but it was 66% off. So I really, really, really like this. I think this pretty is gonna catch the light and if it snows, it's gonna be so pretty out there. Got me a gazing ball. I should have enough gazing balls to get me through each uh, switch out. And then my last thing I got from Hobby Lobby, which I just love, and this came out of the spring shop too. This is one of my favorite hymns. So, and I got me a real pretty little pillow, and I'll either put it up out in the living room maybe for a while, but it'll probably end up going up in the turquoise room. It is well with my soul. One of my favorite, favorite hymns, and you should hear my family sing it. Oh my goodness. When they sing it, it is just, beautiful so when we sing it but I love this and I thought it was so pretty such a pretty color so I might just put it out in the living room for now on the couch just to you know have a little pop color out there on the couch it'd be pretty I think and that's it that's all I got from Hobby Lobby so can't find my receipt. I spent a bit over $50, I think. A little bit more than that because she didn't see this sitting there and she didn't think, she says, I didn't think that was yours. <laughs> I know all of them there at Hobby Lobby, you know. And I said, I know, it doesn't look like something I would ever buy, does it? But I thought it was pretty, it caught my eye and I think it'll look pretty up there in the purple bedroom. So there you go. But anyway, I had to buy this separately. So I think with this, it was a little over $60 for everything. Then I went and got a hair done, you know, and I'm always looking for like travel size stuff. So uh, they had buy two, get one free today for their little travel size stuff. This is the kind of shampoo I use, which is for color treated hair. It's color extend. So I got me some of that and then I got the conditioner to go with it. Color extend. And then my free, uh, my hair is very fine. It's I got a lot of hair, but it's it's very fine. So I use this product called Guts. And this was free. I got this free. So I can't complain about that. So buy two, get one free. And that was my free product. There we go. So that's that's been my day. <laughs> and my voice is getting worse and worse and worse. So I'm gonna hush up right now. I feel better, like I said, I feel a lot better than I sound. So anyway, I'm gonna put all this stuff away and then Chris and I are gonna make ourselves some tacos for dinner, which I'm really looking forward to and I'm hungry, I haven't eaten. So anyway, I think this will be it for the week, you guys. I have no idea what's on the agenda for next week, but I'm sure we'll figure out something and I'll, I'll take you along wherever I go. It's, you know, I don't know of any crafts that I've got planned. <laughs> That's not saying I won't do one, I don't know. But anyway, for now, I hope that you guys have a great weekend and that you get to spend time with family or friends or those that love you and that you love. And remember to take a chance and do a craft and try something new. You can do it. I promise you, you can do it. All right, I'm gonna close for now and just say, until next time, y'all take good care. Bye-bye.